We are now pleased to introduce our first honoree this evening, Mr. Scott Stringer, the New York City Comptroller. As Comptroller, Mr. Stringer has focused on bringing more accountability and transparency to the pension funds and has launched initiatives to increase the participation of women and minority-owned businesses seeking to do business with the city. At this time, we are pleased to present Comptroller Stringer with this award in recognition of his innovative leadership and tireless commitment to diversity and inclusion. Uh, I am, I'm very honored to be here tonight to accept this award, and I want to thank Beth, and I want to thank my great friend Alana Goldman, and so many people who are here tonight. And I just want to say, in, in, in my role as controller, when I was elected five years ago, people said to me, the one thing you're not going to be able to do is have a diverse office. And I said, why? Why can't we have women and people of color work in the controller's office? And people said, well, you have to understand it's finance. That's a true story. And I said, really, finance is that tough? And then a month later, I hired seven deputy controllers, people of color and women out of eight. And I added the female chief of staff. And I said, so now that we've straightened that out, <laughs> why can't we have diverse people manage our pension funds? And why can't we have more corporate board diversity in this country? And that is something we have to work on. And what I love about Lita is that you have established the protocol and the pipeline. Smart young people from around the country, you have found them, you have given them opportunity, and they have rewarded all of you with their smarts and their talent. But we have to recognize that while we recognize their future, it gets a little tougher, right? You go to the best college, you have that opportunity, you graduate, and then you happen to be a woman, a person of color, and you get that first job on Wall Street, and you're on your way up the corporate ladder, and then suddenly the elevator gets stuck on the 15th floor, and somehow you never make it to the C-suite or the corporate board. And so when we have an event like Lita and we see what's possible with the great talent and diversity, we in the private sector, and especially those of us in government, we've gotta do our part too. And we can no longer delay the inevitable. And for all of our children, it's not just eyes on what we have, it's eyes on the whole school building. And that is why tonight is so special for me. We will achieve corporate board diversity, we will give everybody an opportunity, but only if we smash that glass ceiling and support organizations like this. This is a very special award for me. Thank you very much.